In the previous video, we prepared a Python environment for our walkthrough. This video, we are going to set up Spider for our walkthrough. Spider is a very popular open source integrated development environment for Python, and it is included in the environment we prepared previously. To interface with LifeLake model interactively, you should use IPython, the most widely used, highly sophisticated interactive Python shell. IPython is supported in many tools such as Jupyter Notebooks, PyCharm, and Spider. In this walkthrough, we use Spider because there's a plugin available for using Modelx in Spider, which enables you to interface with Modelx through graphical interface. This is the contents of the unzipped archive file shown in Windows Explorer. Click Spider. Spider is composed of many widgets. Your spider on your local PC may not look like this one. If so, reset the layout to spider as default by clicking View from the menu bar and from Windows Layout, selecting Reset to Spider Default. This will maximize the spider window, so resize the window as you like. Now, let's check if the spider plugin for ModelX is installed. If you prepare the environment from archive file from LifeLift's website, then you should have it installed already. Click Tools in menu bar, highlight Panes, and see if there are these three items in the menu at the bottom. These are the widgets added by the plugin for ModelX. Check the three items to activate them if they haven't been checked yet. Now, you should have the plugin widget showing somewhere in the main spider window. Next, we're going to change the layout of spider widgets so that they can be more convenient for our use of spider. To be able to move widgets around, you need to unlock widgets if they haven't been unlocked yet. Go to the View menu and check if this item says Lock Panes and Toolbars or Unlock Panes and Toolbars. If it says Lock, then you already have them unlocked. If it says Unlock, then click Item to unlock widgets. Now you should be able to see this little icon on top of each widget. And if you hover your mouse over the icon, the cursor changes its shape to indicate that you can move the widgets around by drag and drop. Now, let's start customizing the positions of widgets. MX Explorer is the main widget for ModelX, so leave it in the upper right corner of the main window. MX Data View is used for showing the values of ModelX objects. Let's place it in the bottom left corner. Variable Explorer is a default spider widget, which lists global variables defined in the active IPython sessions. Place it in the upper left corner. MX Analyzer is used to trace calculation dependency. Let's place it in the bottom right corner next to the IPython widget. Now we have finished organizing the widgets. Note that this is just one example of recommended layouts for the use of Model X, but you can change and customize your layout in your favorite way as you get used to using Model X in Spider. At this stage, all the Model X widgets are still empty except that the messages in the center of the widgets all say no MX console available. This means that we haven't started any IPython sessions that are connected to ModelX plugin, so we need to start one. Right-click on this console tab and click New MX Console. 
Now you see that the plugin widgets are filled with their components. This indicates that an MX console is started and connected to the ModelX plugin. So when we read lively models into this IPython session in this MX console, you can see ModelX objects in the widgets and interface with them through the widgets. Other than that, the MX console works the same as the default IPython consoles that comes with Spider by default. You can start as many MX consoles as you want and they all run separate IPython sessions simultaneously in their own processes.